Well, guys, here's the project at hand today. Remove pond from field. So let's get the 140 fired up and go at it. Well, that's what she looks like on ground level. Yep, still a mess. Just as much as a mess on the ground as what it is in the sky. So, I can only assume at one point in life, and this is just an assumption, that this was probably pasture. Uh, a couple clues, there's a fence out there in the trees, which is why that's grown up. And second clue, there's a pond here. Most of these ponds, these small ponds like this in the field around here, was uh, used for water and livestock, a lot like the other one we took out here a week or so ago. But, uh, for now, this is a cornfield, not a uh, pasture. So we don't need this thing anymore. As you guys can see, Chris is farming around it and it's leaking really bad over there on the other side. So it keeps the field and everything wet. So the goal for today, this is probably gonna be a two part job, uh, kind of like the other one. The goal for today is to get all the trees off, uh, get those pushed off to the side, get the water drained out of it. And uh, that way it can be drying up a little bit and we'll get uh, probably get Jerry back up here with the dozer and let him uh, try to make it disappear. So we got the uh, Volvo on, on the clock today. So enough rambling. Let's do it. Take long, knocked you guys clean off her. Let's try a different spot. Not only did I about lose you guys, I about lost my travel pedal. How in the world did that come off? Always something, always something. 
All right, the good news, I got my pedal back on. As you guys can see right here, it is muddy, nasty, and wet, and everything else is dry. I thought the pond was leaking right here, but I believe that's actually the overflow. Kind of a weird spot for it, but if it works, it works. But one thing I wanted to point out to you guys, I was working down through here. I got this first little section cleared off. I'm just gonna go right down the dam, throw the stuff over here so either I or Jerry can grab it with a machine. We're gonna take it back here and pile it up in the woods. But this first big tree right here, I don't know if you guys can notice, but it is dead. Anytime you guys are clearing in the woods or doing any clearing at all, you gotta pay extra attention to a dead tree because they are double dangerous. We'll just go with double dangerous. The last thing you wanna do is bump that thing to have one of those limbs come down that are brittle, break off, land on the machine, damage the machine, or worse yet, hurt you. So I always kind of clear around them real good so I can get a good little, a good little area and kind of see what's going on. A lot of times they break off and fall real easy. I will get up on the tree probably 10 or 12 feet, get some leverage on it so it's going away from me. The one thing you don't want to do is just walk into the tree and bam, nail it, because that's when stuff will break off coming your way. You got to go real easy and real gentle and just kind of let her uh, fall over. So now that I've talked a big game, let's see if I can, by luck, I'll hit the tree and a limb will fall on me now. But anyways, at least you guys know what not to do, even if I do do it. Let's get her down. I'm gonna do an attempt to do a split screen here and I get a lot of people who want to see me actually running the controls and then actually see the machine working. So I'm gonna try to do a split screen where you guys can stare at me doing the controls and then actually see what the arm's doing in response to that. A little bit of work or not, but we'll try it. There we go. I'm gonna trim some dead limbs there so we'll watch out, make sure we don't wear any of those. Now right, where'd she go? That was nice. I'm a big fan of this one tree being crossways out here. Jerry won't be happy about that. Makes it a little more difficult for him to push it away. I'm trying to keep these piles separated to where they're uh, manageable sizes for him so he can just kind of get in the right one and go.
2001 and I run the thumb. Two buckets over here on this joystick. The button on my left is closed, the button on my right is open.
check that out guys got this side all done everything went pretty well no major surprises nothing on our head you guys didn't get hit out there in the field it's gonna be a good video it's gonna be a good video i did end up taking the excavator and pushing everything we had already tore down down there in the woods and stockpiled it away mainly because you guys can see right here see how wet this is right here uh with all that stuff piled on top of there it's going to take it longer to dry out because the sun can't get to it so i thought you know what we'll do jerry a favor go ahead and get that stuff down there and out of the way so now what we need to do is turn the corner and go down the back side here which i think is about equal work to what we've already done and uh, get that taken out of there we got a few big trees here on the corner and just a lot of small stuff over there so enough talking let's hammer down and get her done Check that out, boys and girls. That don't look too shabby for a quick job. Got her all cleared off. I did manage to get the majority of the brush down there. I didn't get the last little bit of everything. We've got a bulldozer coming. There's no point of wearing out the undercarriage on the excavator because uh, we can catch that later, but uh, should be good to go on that. So it's time to let the fun begin. We're gonna let the water out of this hole. I think, <laughs> looks at that bucket. There's not much water here, two and a half maybe three feet at the most there seems to be a natural little swell right here so i think we're going to let her head that way i don't think we have to do much more than dig out this dam six seven scoops may dig may drain this whole thing i don't know so but uh that's it
I think it's time to bust the dam and let the water fly. Let's do it. Flowing now, look at her go. It's good timing or ironic, but see all those bubbles out there? That is not fish or anything jumping. There were huge, huge raindrops coming down. I think it was like one little bitty cloud right over top of us. Oh well, she's still draining. She won't hold water now. She's all but drained down, but we're going to have to go down here and extend our ditch a little bit to get that last maybe foot out of there. Spin around here and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, it is wet and muddy down here. I wonder how that happened. An interesting looking view right up the gut of the pond there, but see this little hump right here? We just about got it all except for that. Right. Get up in there, we might as well make sure we get her all. I 
I think I should have this on the bottom, man. I'm going to crawl back up on the top there and make sure she drains out from over there. Somebody made a mess down here. Well, the rain quit and I'm debating whether I want to dive over this bank and try to scratch a little channel up through there to drain that little bit up there. But from what I can see, it's only about a couple inches deep and I think it may drain itself. I don't think it's worth getting down there in the mud and wallowing around, so. I think we got her. I think we got her. Here's my thoughts on this. Let's, uh, the rain has quit. Let's end this video the same way we started and see if we can tell what we did. We'll get the drone back up. Well guys, there's what she looks like at the end of the day after it's all said and done. As you guys can still see, we have quite the muddy mess, but hopefully it'll dry up soon and we'll be able to get the hole closed up. I don't know for sure if I'll have a video on closing the hole up. The plan is to kind of turn uh, Jerry loose on this, drop off a dozer and let him have at it. We're hoping we don't need any assistance from the excavator from here on out. If I do not have a video on this, at the very least, I will have some pictures on my Facebook and Instagram pages for you guys who follow me there. But uh, that's going to be a wrap on this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, guys, we shall catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.